A Category 4 hurricane plunging the entire island into darkness, wiping out power to 3.5 million Americans. You are talking about families that were trying to get back on their feet because of Irma that happened just three weeks before Maria, where they were having um, roof problems, no electricity, no water supply, and um, of course, damages to their home. So three weeks after, we get hit by a storm where homes were totally destroyed. One of those homes belonged to Alicia Arcelai Ortiz. Her house was destroyed piece by piece during Hurricane Maria in September 2017. And yet somehow her family, including her mom, survived. Having lived through such a traumatic experience, just last month, the Puerto Rican native began a new chapter in her life, receiving the keys to this new house five years later. Alicia is grateful to be one of over 20,000 applicants of a special program designed to help Puerto Rico's most vulnerable communities. As the island continues to build back more resilient homes to withstand another Maria in the future. You know, we are building homes consciously of what's happening in terms of climate change and also uh, with the uh, aging population that we have here in Puerto Rico. After getting full access to available funds in 2021, Puerto Rico's Department of Housing has dispersed over $1.1 billion. It took a year after the hurricane had passed till we got access to the funds, partial access, because it was not until four years after Hurricane Maria that we were able to get full access to the funding. Now, as you can see, we are building in compliance, code compliance. So we are uh, constructing strong homes, um, efficient homes, and they're you know they're going to be able to uh, receive winds like from hurricanes like Maria or even worse. Alicia's is one of nearly 6,000 families helped out by Puerto Rico's repair, reconstruction, or relocation program, with many more on the list across the island. This is a home that's going to last the next 50 years. We are giving better homes, secure homes, green homes, and accessible homes too, so we're very happy about it. She had hoped to share this moment with her mom, but sadly, she passed away before being able to see it. Gardening brought the mother and daughter together. Seeing the flower beds reminded her of that void.